All right, guys, so I want to take a deep dive at this uh, Bible verse right here that I have on my desktop. Um, and I just want to say, man, God's word is so awesome because um, as we study and meditate on God's word, uh, we understand that, you know, revelation comes in many different forms. And um, it's never just one particular meaning to the word of God. It's always a diverse meaning that lines up with the will of God within the word of God. And I think that's a very beautiful thing. And it just shows how awesome God is. And what do I mean by this? Right. So what I mean by this is you take this Bible verse, for example, Proverbs 20, verse 13. Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes and you will have plenty of bread. Now, most people, OK, will read this verse and say the Lord is talking about you know, not loving sleep so much that you're lazy, right? That you don't work, that you don't get things done, that you should be getting done, which it actually do mean that, right? Because he says, open your eyes. That means to wake up and you will have plenty of bread. So if you wake up and you find something productive to do, then you will have plenty of bread, meaning food. Okay. Now, that's one way of looking at it, and that's not wrong. So it's no wrong way as long as it lines up with the, with the will of God, right? Um, let me show you how God would take you to deeper waters over something, right? Now, this is meat, guys. This is not milk. So this is just a deep revelation moment. And this is why it's so important to meditate on the Word of God, because God would give you 20 different scenarios to this one Bible verse. You understand? So I labeled this, this teaching, because I taught on this on Facebook, actually, too. And I want to bring it to TikTok and YouTube and things of that nature. But I labeled this come out of spiritual poverty. OK, now, once again, I'm going to read this Bible verse again. Proverbs 20, verse 13. Love not sleep, lest you come to poverty. Open your eyes and you will have plenty of bread. Now, let me break it down from what the Holy Spirit showed me. This is Revelation Keys, okay? A person that is spiritually asleep will live in spiritual poverty. Come on, somebody. A poverty meaning poor. Poor meaning spiritually lacked, going without in bondage. So it's a lot of Christians out here that have their physical together, but they're spiritually asleep. Physically, they wake up, they go to work, they start a business or they work for somebody to get things done. Physically, they're not lacking. Financially, they're probably not lacking. But spiritually, it's a bondage there. You see, um, poor meaning spiritually lack going without in bondage. OK, so you're spiritually poor, spiritually lacking, going without growth. So when you're lacking something, you're not growing. It's no growth. OK, or freedom. From bondage. So you may have a mental bondage, a spiritual bondage, you see, but you're sleeping spiritually so much that it's driving you to uh, poverty, spiritually poverty. OK, but if you open your eyes to the word of God, the word of God is the bread of life. And so is Jesus. Jesus is the bread and he gives his word. It's the bread of life. See, notice how open your eyes. Right. So open your spiritual eyes. The word of God is the bread of life, which is why Jesus said, man, don't survive off of physical bread alone, but every word that comes from the father. OK, the bread is the living food for our spirit to come alive. You will have plenty. OK, what you receive from the spirit will manifest in the physical. So it starts in the spiritual, guys. You got to make sure to nurture the spiritual. A lot of us is really good. Once again, we're really good at nurturing the physical, but people seem to forget that we are made in the image of God, which means that we have a spirit, a soul in the body. So we don't need to just cater to our bodies. That's the problem. We cater to our bodies very well. We cater. We look at things through the physical very well, but we don't look at things through the spiritual. We don't cater to our soul. A lot of us got so uh, so wounds that need to be healed. A lot of us got spiritual bondage that needs to be broken off. You can't do that if you just cater to the physical. You got to cater to all of it. And you got to trust the Holy Spirit in all of it, guys. So he led me to this prayer. I want you guys just come into agreement with this. All right. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I thank you that I don't have to depend on nothing of this world. 
but that I depend on the living water and our daily bread from you. Father, I pray that I never fall into spiritual poverty or spiritual dehydration ever again. Feed me, O oh God. Overflow my cup with new wine so that I can feed others for your kingdom, your glory, your glory, and the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. So listen, if this is confirmation to you, if this brought insight to you, if this motivated you, if this edified you, drop a comment below, drop some fire emojis below as well. Hit that share button, get it out there because we got to wake the body of Christ up and and help people to realize that we are more spiritual than anything, guys. There's a lot of people that's out here just catering to the physical, and that's just a way of religion. Religion is just of the physical. We got to have a spiritual relationship with Christ, all right? Everything's got to flow mentally, physically, and spiritually. God bless you. Love you guys.